Peoria Sports Complex is where spring training magic happens. But before the beer is poured and the first pitch is thrown, there's a lot of elbow grease that goes into prepping the stadium. At the beginning of each season, logos are perfectly placed and painted on the field by the operational field crew. That operational field maintenance crew also has a big job making sure the grass is manicured and the mound is ready before each game. There's an important aspect of field maintenance you may not think of in the Arizona desert, tarp practice. That's right, the maintenance team practices quickly covering the field with tarp, just in case. Who doesn't enjoy a nice cold beverage on a warm, sunny spring day? Or maybe a hot dog and peanuts while watching America's favorite pastime. Well, the beer, soda, water, and other goodies are delivered, stocked, and prepped daily. Concession stands make sure they're ready so you can eat, drink, and be merry at the ballpark. And after all that big league fun in the sun, the fans clear out and the cleanup crews come in, cleaning seats, bathrooms, basically giving the entire stadium a good scrub. With nearly 30 back-to-back -back games, the Peoria Sports Complex always wants to look its best. Good afternoon, baseball fans. Welcome to the Peoria Sports Complex, now celebrating our 20th anniversary of Cactus League Baseball with the spring training home of the Seattle Mariners and the San Diego Padres. The face behind that extraordinary voice is public address announcer Bill Brecky. He's been working for the sports complex for nearly a decade. Basically, I'm introducing the, play, the starting lineups. I'm introducing the players as they come to the plate. Any substitutions, changes they have in the lineups. And then in between each inning, uh, commercial breaks, contests on the field. In 2004, Bill was working as a Diamond Club volunteer when he was asked to be the backup PA. A few years later, the regular announcer left and Bill took over. We have an opening script that you know welcomes to the ballpark, tell them what exits to use to evacuate. Um, and then we have scripts for uh, the commercials. But like we have a mascot race, and once they start, that's kind of ad lib as to who's got the lead and things like that. Probably the most challenging thing is uh, after about three or five innings, all the starters leave, and early in the season, it's a lot of the minor leaguers that come and replace. So I'm not familiar with them. You don't know how to pronounce the names. Uh, the help, though, comes from the uh, Padre Mariners public relation people. They'll, they'll announce them on the speaker, and then hopefully I remember that name and then relay that to the fans. The Seattle native and Mariner fan hardly sees his job as work. Well, the best part is uh, coming every day and seeing Major League Baseball. If you're a fan, you can't find anything better than that. Although Bill is a bit of a local celebrity, he doesn't have to worry too much about the paparazzi. I had an odd occasion one time I came outside after the ball game and just left the press box area. And this couple comes up and says, uh, gave me a ball and said, we'd like your autograph. And I'm going, oh, you're mistaken. You're thinking of Dave Niehaus or Rick Riz from the Mariners. I'm uh, Bill, the public dress announcer. No, you're the one that we want the, the autograph from. This lifelong baseball fan doesn't seem to mind spending the month of March at the Peoria Sports Complex. Well, the best is just coming out every day to see the ball games uh, and the great weather and, you know, every spring, you know, it's baseball season coming around again. The scoreboard operator always has an eye on the ball. Arguably, one of the most important jobs of the game, the scoreboard operator does far more than keep score. Uh, I operate the video and audio entertainment portion of the games. There is the video and the audio portion. We run music uh, during pregame and then of course during the inning breaks. And there is the video portion which we choreograph with the announcer uh, and then the batters with their stats and such. 
Um, we also have entertainment for the player, our home players, that may hit a home run or just have a really great play. We'll throw up a, a video slide applauding them, play some music, things like that. Just anything to make it more fun for the fans. Not that spring training isn't already awesome, but just to add a little more oomph to it. Next season will be Robin's seventh. Robin says her best moment at the sports complex was the day she was hired. I came in to volunteer, just work gates, do something simple, and in the course of talking with the staff in the office, uh, they asked me if I was interested in the working. I said, well, what do you have in mind? So they brought me up here to the booth and asked if I was comfortable with the equipment. I had dabbled with uh, communications in college, so I was pretty excited when they kind of showed me this and said, are you interested? And I said, sure, <laughs> who wouldn't be? <laughs> What you don't see is all the work that goes into a smooth running scoreboard. I arrive about two hours before game time and um, usually the first hour is a lot of prep work. You know, you're creating the video slides, things like that. And then once you get closer to game time, it starts to amp up. You're, you're doing uh, rosters and uh, things like that. Once you get into the game, it doesn't slow down, but it becomes more methodical, I think. Um, you've got inning breaks where you're choreographing with the announcer on your sponsors and their uh, logos, things like that. Then you play your music, and um, it pretty much runs through like that. We, got to, we have some giveaways that um, you know our sponsors have provided us, so we'll promote those kinds of things. Of course, we hit the seventh inning stretch, try and make that fun, and you know get people up out of their seats for a few minutes, things like that. Running the scoreboard is a big job, but it's one Robin takes on with a smile. Best part of my job, that's easy. The atmosphere, the view, you can't beat it. It's Awesome, the corner office, windows are open, you get to watch a baseball game while you're working. What, what's there to argue with? <laughs> no doubt you've seen the hardest working folks at the sports complex. Not the players, I'm talking about the Diamond Club volunteers. They're the helpful people in the red shirts, instrumental in the daily operation of the stadium on game day. Well, the Diamond Club is a nonprofit organization that works in partnership with the City of Peoria and our spring training teams. In exchange for the labor force that we provide for spring training, we receive a portion of the proceeds. The Diamond Club started in 1994 with 70 volunteers, and today they have nearly 500. All of those ticket takers, ushers, parking attendants, everyone you see working in a red shirt is doing their part for Peoria. To date, the Diamond Club has given nearly one and a half million dollars through grants and scholarships. The programs that we fund range from special ed, special needs, underprivileged, educational, leadership, athletic, the whole gamut. So it's all about the kids, really for the Diamond Club. That's our mission is to support youth programs and organizations in our community that um, are helping to enrich lives. 30 of the 500 volunteers have been Diamond Club volunteers since the sports complex opened. They were on the schedule to volunteer in 1994, they're on the schedule to volunteer in 2013, and they have worked every season in between. Volunteering for the Diamond Club is a pretty good gig, as long as you're at least 16 and willing to work a minimum of eight days during spring training season. Volunteers are eligible to enter, free of charge, with their badge and enjoy as many spring training games they would like. So it's a great perk for the baseball lovers and it definitely does help draw volunteers. It takes a lot of people to pull off a spring training game. And we run about 120 to 130 volunteers through here a day for a spring training game and it equals about 18 to 20,000 volunteer hours a season. That's a lot of red shirts. If you love baseball, love the spring training experience, and want to give back to the community, become a Peoria Diamond Club member. If all of us do a little bit, the results are just tremendous. They really are, and we're just thrilled to be part of that collaborative effort in our community.